Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Brie, Brimona, Brianna, whichever one you're liking the best. <laughs> We are back with the next episode of my Sims Free Play Legacy series off to the wedding. And it's episode 10, I think. Like, it's literally flying by so quick. And this episode, we're going back to the doctors. Um, they got the fertility treatment ready. We're going to bring David just to get his tests and everything done as well while we're getting Naomi's done. And we find out about the fertility and having the babies and all of this stuff. So... I'm really excited to play today. Hopefully you guys are excited to watch Naomi's story. Definitely make sure to subscribe down below as well as comment your favorite part of the episode and give this video a like. And without further ado, let's just hop right onto the video. I gotta get it comfy. All right, I literally need to make sure everything is set up because trying to film these episodes and literally not realizing that my audio isn't working or like not 20%. um <laughs> yeah like stuff like that you know just coming out of nowhere everything is falling apart and all i want to do is just play the sims like come on bro everything is falling apart why okay okay i think everything is good <laughs> so we're here with naomi and um, she's up early in the morning she was making some food i think so we're gonna have her eat and um, i actually want to i don't think that we did her book or anything last episode but i really want her to write more of like her own books outside of like her work kind of books that she's been doing so i want her to really get back into that we're actually going to go to the doctor i think like later on in the afternoon so she'll at least have some time to get everything ready get like her book stuff situated because i really want her to like write some books and then publish them because i don't even think that she's like done that she's been so busy with trying to like earn money but then again we can earn money with the published books too so yeah it's been kind of crazy but yeah we gotta do that Alrighty, so i'm gonna have naomi uh go on over to the restroom <clears throat> so we can get all we can get all of our needs kind of taken care of i do think that if we do make the appointment for the doctors we might go tomorrow because i literally just realized that i want them to go to the venues because i found this other venue i really want naomi and david to go to it which what is this you're eating oh isn't this from the party <laughs> I think Simone brought this for the party. Well, as long as you get your food needs up, that's all I, I care about. But yeah, we're actually going to go to the doctor tomorrow. And then I really want her to do like the book thing today. Um, Go to the wedding venue so we can finally pick out the good wedding venue. And my phone is ringing. Alrighty, so um, she finished eating up that. And yeah, I think that'd be great. We'll go to the doctor tomorrow. Like we can do that. But I really want to go to the wedding venue. Like I think it'd be really great. But actually, wait, did we take the pre- We didn't take the pregnancy test. Because I totally forgot their wild night last night seeing if any pregnancy maybe happen yes no maybe so let's see does she have any like work to do like any gigs she doesn't we do have 18 grand which is good but i want her to get more money <laughs> because i think that the wedding venue is gonna be like 10k which is crazy and we also have the honeymoon to prepare for and we also have the wedding like the remaining stuff of the wedding shopping to do so we're gonna need as much money as we can i want to have her maybe at like 25 maybe 30k but i mean 18 is good right now because we can at least buy the wedding venue if we like it if we like it i think that i, I haven't went down to this actual venue so i don't know how it's gonna like be but i think it is gonna be good i think it's gonna be good oh wait this is my sim self hello hello oh wait yeah didn't we see that she was pregnant last episode wait i'm actually really curious if we can talk to mona again we're not even that good friends with her okay yeah we should definitely chat with her um let's see ask if we can help her you know ask to help um let's see friendly is there a good to know yeah, get to know. Actually, Naomi, let's go talk to Mona because I want the tea on this pregnancy. Like, is she having a baby? How was my sim so preg pregnant right now? Like, this is insane. Oh, and there's Kaito. Like, we should definitely chat with him too. <laughs> there's Scott. Scott, we know what you did. I want to know if we can maybe ask her about the pregnancy. Maybe we will talk about babies. <laughs> the property owner is here for a visit. What do you want, Matt? 
Thanks. Malaya wants to chat with us, so I guess we'll talk with our mom. I don't know. I guess we'll take a look within the next couple days if her stomach grows even more. But I swear she looks pregnant. Like, I swear she does. Oh, it's Dylan too? <gasps> Safra, we went on a very nice day. Okay brother-in-law we hooking him up let's go brother-in-law all right so i guess we'll talk with our mom but i mean we don't have any interactions right now to see if she's like pregnant pregnant so i don't know we'll have to see i'm so curious about my sim self though like is she pregnant like her belly looks bigger what do you want max why he looks sad like what chloe kick you out did your wife kick you out <laughs> He's like, hello max Hello, are you okay? Oh, what what is he writing? What do you, what do you write? Hello, what are you writing, sir? What is happening? Is he doing a, an evaluation of my place? Yeah. I don't know about this little friendship that myself and Kaito has, but I am all here for it. Like they're always together. <laughs> I see Kaito with my sim self more than with his wife. Like that's crazy, bro. <laughs> um, hello, why are you talking to me? Um, go away. Get out of my face. Um, I actually want to talk to Kaito. Oh, wait, he's actually coming to talk to me. Oh, hello, hello, neighbor, neighbor. <laughs> hello, neighbor, rental. Suggest holding in a mate. Ooh, neighborly chat. So we actually need to chat with Max more, actually, and become good friends with him. I thought we were already pretty good friends. Maybe not. I don't know. How do we become really good friends with him? Ooh, okay. Naomi and Kaito had a curious chat about the afterlife. They pondered why some sins became ghosts and other skeletons. If a spectator is the same thing as a ghost, can a vampire become a ghost? Can a ghost vampire drink your blood? They had many questions. What the heck? <laughs> What kind of chat is that? Oh man. Small talk. Um, ask him about languages. Uh, let's see, while he's working. <gasps> Where's the fire? Oh no. <laughs> That's what he get. <laughs> That's what he get, bruh. That's what he get. Oh no. Extinguish him. <laughs> okay, Naomi, extinguish the man. Route to safety. Oh lord. Naomi, be a good person, extinguish the man. See, if this was Joe, then we would probably let him burn. <laughs> but it's Jonas. It's Jonas. Just extinguish him. Oh, Lord. Jesus. Oh, we got 410 spoolings <laughs> for that. Let's go. Wow, you literally just saved my life. Words can't even begin to describe how grateful I am. Really, I won't forget this. Okay. I'm glad you won't forget this. So next time, next time when your brother started acting up, you better know. And did Max leave? Oh, Lord. And Max left. Okay, well, you know what? <laughs> We're going to go to this wedding venue because I really want... <laughs> Naomi and David and her mom to check out the venue. So we're going to invite David and Malaya to go to the venue. So come on, Nay. All right, we're going to go to over to Tartosa, take a little day trip, and we're going to visit this lot. I am really excited because I really want to see what it looks like. Hopefully this is the one. Hopefully they really like it. Hopefully I really like it too. Like, I don't know how it's going to look, but the pictures, it was looking good. So... Let's see how this venue turns out. Alrighty, we are here at this venue and it is thunder and lightning. Oh my gosh, I didn't even check the weather. All right, go here together. Please don't let nobody die by no lightning, bruh. <laughs> Please. Oh my gosh, hopefully the lightning lightens up. What the what? Oh my gosh, but let's take a look at this really quick. Um, Can we have everybody sit down? All right, let's have everybody sit real quick. <gasps> wow, uh, look at this. All right, so this is like the, the area for them to like eat food like after the wedding. So this is really cool. Brielle, are you serious right now? Brielle. <laughs> You're literally part of our family. How are you freaking out? <laughs> so crazy. Um, but yeah, this is really cool. And yeah, everybody's sitting down at the tables. I really like this area. This is really, 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 really nice. And then of course, Naomi and David sitting here in their wedding attire. Oh man, I really love this area. And then, then if we come back here, 
We have like little like chairs and seating area. We do have a really, really, really big family. So a lot of this space will get used, <laughs> but this is actually really cute as well. I really like this. There is also a bar area. So we can have drinks and stuff. That's really cool. And then, oh Lord. You know what? Of course the paparazzi's here again. All right, Malaya could stay there and entertain them. Um, we're actually gonna come over to the wedding area and I wanna see what it looks like in like first person. Cause this is so cute. Ooh, why are we following this dude? <laughs> Hello, David? Hello? Wow, this is so cute. All right, send down two sims. David and Nay. Wow, look how it looks from this angle. This is really cute. There's Nay. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, Lord. David, playing around. <laughs> but I really like the blues because I think that this is going to be the colors that they're going to have for their wedding. Yeah, this is actually super cute. Is Malaya just like serenading her fans? <laughs> Yeah, you know what, Malaya? Have fun with your fans. Okay. <laughs> Who is that? Oh, Noah? Oh, he's a fan of ours. Oh, hello. Is he a fan of, like, us? Like, Naomi? Or a fan of our mothers? Or just our family in general? Sign autograph. Well, we could sign autograph. Let's sign his autograph. Naomi's like, yeah, I'm not my mom, but, like, you can have my autograph while I'm right here, you know. <laughs> Just to make yourself especially yeah you can have an autograph too if you want <laughs> this looks really great i like this of course he's freaking paparazzi bro you can never escape them but yeah this i'm okay y'all i'm really loving this wedding venue cross our fingers it's not raining on the day of the wedding cross our fingers but let's actually have naomi and david come over here this is like a little photo area and there's like a little camera oh my this is so cute wow we got the little backdrop oh set the backdrop oh I didn't even know you could do that. Wow, nothing's starting to dance, bro. Are they practicing their dance? Like from the, after they just came back from the dance studio? Why are they so cute? Cubicle wall, <laughs> cotton candy. You could literally set this to anything. This is really cool. More choices, vertical lights. Oh Lord, ma'am, can you go somewhere? She's like, mom, on the wedding, can you please have a celebrity disguise? <laughs> But it's gonna be a private event. <laughs> It'll be a private event. She's like, mom, if I really want to have this venue, like we need to have like it as a private event because these paparazzi literally find us everywhere. <laughs> and let's have David and Naomi look at the dance area. You know, like after the wedding, have like a little dance hall. Wedding group dance, what is this? I don't want to do it yet. Wait, don't do it, David, don't do it. I don't want to see it. <laughs> I'm gonna have them couple dance to a classic slow dance. Oh lord, Malaya, can you please tell these people to go away? Can you please tell them to go away? I'm actually just gonna take Naomi, uh, Malaya out of our group. Yeah, because Malaya's gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna entertain the paparazzi. You guys can like go over and talk about this venue and things like that. So yeah, we're gonna have David and Naomi. Look at Naomi signing more autographs. She's like, yeah, you got my autograph. You can't talk to my mom, but you got my autograph. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, why is David uncomfortable? Seeing a hideous sim. David literally said, you was ugly, bruh. But I mean, he is all that in a bag of chips. We ain't got to tell them that they hideous, David. What the what? That's crazy. I love you. I can't wait for this moment with you. Hello? Hello? <laughs> but yeah, they're basically going to talk about this venue. They love and also me a lot of the elements of this venue like we have this really nice area where we can literally have food and dinner with everyone after the wedding we of course have the wedding actual like area where they can like get married at over here and all of the chairs and then just everything just looks so pretty so I really, really, really love it. And then of course the best part afterwards is of course this little area that people could like hang out and chat after the um, wedding happens and even like have a backdrop to take pictures at. There's just so many great things. This actually just brings back the white. <laughs> There's so many great things that this venue has that they're just really excited and happy about. So it is getting a little bit late. 
It's like seven o'clock. So, woohoo, I can't wait. Oh, jeez. Oh, they went into woohoo afterward. How was David calling me? A special someone just enthused about the relationship with Naomi. She is feeling like a very lucky girl from having her love reaffirmed. Yeah, they're just like super like flirty. It's just like the area, it's the vibes. It's just like everything with this whole venue that they are literally in love with. They don't really like the paparazzi everywhere but hopefully we can have this as like a private event for them to get married so cross our fingers but what do you guys think about this video let me know down below i really love it really 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 love it we can definitely edit and change up some things if we want but if there's anything that maybe we should add or maybe we should you know kind of put in i think it'll be really cool oh look at this little cake <laughs> but yeah like you could we could put the cake right there like it's just, there's just so many things of this actual venue that we really 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 love so i think this might be it now we gotta figure out how much the venue is i think it's gonna be 10 grand y'all and also how do we even pay it rent a wedding venue pay venue fees yeah 10 grand bruh 10 freaking grand nay all right well we do have 19. we do have money to pay the venue fees that's all the money bruh Alrighty, so we are back home and david really wanted to have like a little woohoo with naomi but she's very tired so we'll see if she wants to i know you're a little tired i am too but like trying to do the hanky panky <laughs> real quick before bed <laughs> look at naomi she's like i really want to i'm so tired but like i really want to <laughs> oh lord so um yeah they'll uh they'll have fun with that but literally no protection david agreed not to use any birth control yeah i mean they're um not using any uh anything um so every single time it's a scare for me and every single time that they're woohooing there is no pregnancy so i mean maybe cross the fingers this one could be a baby um i want to see what the, um, both of their fertility things are that's why naomi had went to the doctor and they actually have to go tomorrow like sunday um i did say that they would go sunday so and since david's here we're gonna take him with us and he'll have his um treatment done as well just to see what their fertility is because yeah all this woohoo and no pregnancy like maybe that she's not like super like like the ovulation day isn't here where she's like most fertile or something um but i don't know we're gonna have to see tomorrow when we go to back to the doctor yeah naomi's kind of hungry too let's see david he's he's feeling fine <laughs> david's like yeah i'm gucci bro i'm gucci i just wanted to woohoo that's pretty much the only thing <laughs> we will have homegirl eat this cake you're gonna eat it naked she might oh david said oh <laughs> He's just sitting there. David's the only person that actually like sits in this chair. I've never seen Naomi or anybody else sit in this chair. Oh Lord. Them literally having a conversation while she's like fully nude is just hilarious to me. Oh, Simone. Hello. <laughs> David's like, oh, hey, Simone. Hey, Um, di didn't even think to see you here. How are you? Like, what's going on? Oh, Naomi, yeah, she's just tired. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. And then she comes out. Don't go down there, ma'am. Come back in here. Come back in here. You know what? I feel like since they've been friends for so long, she's probably seen her nude anyway. <laughs> what is David doing? He's gonna come and shake this. What are you trying to get a free drink? David, did you even pay for that? Oh Lord. Well, you better drink it. You got your little free item. Well, uh, Simone, we're actually going to go to sleep, so um, you can stay as long as you want. But yeah, we're going to sleep, man. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. So <laughs> I'm going to wait for them to wake up. We're going to have Simone just hanging with us. And I will see you guys in the morning when they're up. And then we're going to head on over to the doctor's office to take this test again all right it is literally winter time right now oh man this time was flying it was literally wasn't it like summer when david proposed time is flying wedding planning takes so long but yeah we're in no rush at all oh look at the little pink cart so cute they're still sleeping i think they're about to get up soon oh we could take another pregnancy test should we wait to take it at the doctor's office i'm nervous like i'm nervous because what if she is right like ah, do we want to know now I think we'll wait till we get to the doctor. Oh, look at Naomi. Hello. 
Morning dew. Erotic dream. Hello. David still sleep. Is David hungry? We will have Naomi eat up some food. Make a little toasty. Do we have some to a toasty in here? Yeah, let's get this leftover toasty. And we also got a vacuum in here because it is dusty in this place. I'll have her finish eating it first. Oh, her face. <laughs> her face. She got some uh, icing um, on her face. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I didn't even realize that. Yeah, get in the shower, Naomi. So we'll wear that. And then I'm gonna have her vacuum. And David, you need to wake up soon, sir. <laughs> so we can go to this doctor. Vacuum up so it's clean up in here. And then David, we're gonna have you wake up, sir. Can we just take a moment to appreciate David's sleepwear? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bruh. Just the shirt out and everything. I just, I can't, bruh. I can't. <laughs> Whoa. David, what are you doing? You were literally walking all the way back there? He walked to his house. He literally lives right here. He walked over to his place. Like, I just, I don't understand. I don't understand the Sims sometimes, man. So we're going to have Naomi and David going over to the doctor and we're going to see about the fertility treatment and we're going to do all of that call and we're going to go back to the doctor. Let's travel, travel with David. Let's go. Alrighty. So we are at the doctor's office and I swear I painted this place <laughs> just so it doesn't have like that drywall look on it. I swear I painted it, but I guess it did it save. But anyways, nonetheless, we're still here at the doctor's office. So um, I'm just going to have Naomi and David come on over and take a seat. Eric's calling us. It's good to hear your voice, Naomi. I want to ask you if I should get to know Aya Mansuri a little bit better. I love how Derek is calling Naomi instead of his own children for advice. <laughs> <laughs> with like if you should know friends or know anybody like we we, we love it Barry, but you're scaring us a little bit because it's like why are you calling us randomly i mean we love that you're calling us you know you're gonna be our new faja in law but like it's scaring me because i'm thinking that he's calling wanting something else <laughs> so we appreciate you, Derek, but you're terrifying us right now. But go ahead. No, I am. And Naomi just has to change, doesn't she? <laughs> she just has to change, bruh. Let me actually give her like an inside outfit. Let me give her this one because she's just going to keep changing back and forth. And where's the doctor that we saw last time? I don't even know if we really want to see him again, <laughs> to be honest. I don't know if we want to see him again. Oh, this is a doctor. <gasps> Oh, we could talk to him. Okay, Tetsu. All right, so we'll have a, we'll give him a friendly introduction. I'm gonna um, have them go upstairs and uh, go up to the office so we can talk. So we'll seat him here, and then we'll have David sit here, and then we'll have Naomi sit here. All right, yeah, he's gonna be like, oh, come over to our office so we can talk. We'll ask about his career. You know, get to know the doctor a little bit, see what his specialties are that he does. Oh, yeah. Wait, hold on. Is he a real doctor? <laughs> Is he really a doctor? Should we still talk to him? Okay, maybe he's pretending to be a doctor. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, so we're just gonna have Naomi talk to this doctor <laughs> about how she had came in to get this fertility treatment. And they were saying how she could probably possibly be like allergic or the fertility treatment didn't take well to let her know what her fertility rate is. And the doctor's like, oh, okay, let me look at your file. Hello, David, who are we flirting with? Man was about to get caught up. I don't play no games, David. We supposed to get married. Hello? Naomi, you better not. <laughs> no, Linda, we can't hang out. We're about to start breaking up. <laughs> <laughs> start breaking up oh lord okay anyways well i guess naomi was like well since you want to flirt i can show you i can flirt too <laughs> this is turning very insane so anyways back to what i was saying he's gonna look at the naomi's file and see that that fertility treatment didn't take well they're gonna go through and take another one and naomi's like oh i brought my fiance here david i want to see and well he wanted to see as well 
what his fertility rate is too because we're kind of thinking of having a baby we're supposed to be getting married we're saving up for our wedding and things like that but we really want to see about getting married as well so, oh, <laughs> we wouldn't want to see they're going to get married we really want to see about having a baby and just want to see how that whole process is going to be we've been doing the hanky panky almost every single day and oh yeah we didn't even do the pregnancy test uh we'll probably have the, the doctor probably have naomi do that first but we haven't seen that we're pregnant so we just want to see what our rates are because we've been going to town almost every single night and there's no signs of pregnancy or anything so the doctor's like okay well first off let's definitely have you take a pregnancy test just to make sure <laughs> that you're not pregnant now and then we'll do the treatment afterwards. So we're gonna have Naomi get up before this doctor keeps flirting with you, ma'am. And then I wonder if she can take the pregnant. Oh, I did leave this toilet here. <laughs> the pregnancy test right here, yeah. We'll have her take the pregnancy test. Then David's gonna be like, oh, so doc, um, do you wanna take mine first? <laughs> I'm down for you to take mine first. We'll have David do his fertility rating first to see. Oh, wait, actually, since Naomi's taking the pregnancy test, let's see. Anything, Nay? Anything? Anything? Oh no, I'm missing it. Mm, nothing, yeah, she wasn't pregnant, okay. All right, Naomi, come back up, ma'am. And then we'll have the doctor come on over and we'll have him chat with David and take the treatment. Oh, he didn't even have a friendly introduction after we were talking that whole time. <laughs> <laughs> oh no you'd be like okay now just lean on back hopefully you're not allergic to this as well <laughs> we're just gonna have david move out of the chair so he can do his fertility treatment and well since he can have his fertility treatment be completed but um we're actually gonna have naomi come and recline on the bed and then we'll see what the doctor says about her taking this next fertility treatment so we can see all right so we're gonna have him come over and talk about fertility talk about the fertility all these doctors love to be reading while they're supposed to be talking to the patients hello <laughs> And then David just went out of the room while they're doing the testing on his uh, treatment that he just did. Or I guess his fertility rating. Because it's technically not like the treatment as of yet. Oh, did he talk to her about the fertility? Oh, there we go. Talk about the fertility. Okay. Where are you going? Where are you going? Come back upstairs. Oh, Lord. Come, bruh. If he don't come back up. Bruh, why is it so hard to find a good doctor these days? <laughs> we just want to take this treatment, bruh. You'd literally be here waiting forever. All right, can we talk to her about it? All right, there we go. Oh, man, she's so sad. <gasps> okay, so David's fertility treatment came back. You seem to be more fertile than average. Be sure to be extra careful if you don't want a pregnancy. No, we want the pregnancy. <gasps> so David's fertility came back and we found out that David is more fertile than average. <gasps> yo okay so david is more fertile but what about naomi we're gonna wait for naomi's test all right david you actually can go back upstairs and wait on naomi Let's see let me change his fit first back to what we had thank you <laughs> <It's> kind of <laughs> hard to tell a story when you keep changing clothes so i'm actually gonna have david come up and sit over here and then we are going to have naomi visit the doctor to evaluate fertility and health risks. We're gonna have her go ahead and wait for her treatment to be done and we're gonna see what happens. So we're gonna have David come over here and wait for Naomi to finish. She doesn't wanna like bombard her or anything. We're just gonna come up here and wait for her. Yeah. <gasps> Look at that little puppy. Oh my, wait, hold on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. While we're waiting for Nay, can I look at her puppy real quick? <laughs> While we're waiting for Naomi? Oh my Doris, oh, it's so cute. All right, so I don't know where the doctor went, but we'll have him come back up. He probably went to go get a drink, looks like. All right, waiting for Naomi, is she almost done? She's halfway, halfway through y'all, halfway through. And then while the, while the doctor is talking to David, Naomi got her test back. There is nothing to indicate that your fertility is anything but average. This is not bad news. It means there is nothing to worry about. Okay, Naomi can keep track of her exact fertility under the fertility menu under family and pregnancy. I'm sorry, but I have a difficult news. It would seem that, that were you to become pregnant, you would be at a high risk to encounter issues. Oh no. Make sure to take it easy. Be careful and consult with the doctor if needed. Y'all. So it was Naomi. 
Oh no. Fertility under family and pregnancy? Oh, we gotta check that. Oh no, so Naomi, she's at high risk to encounter issues. So every single time we were trying to get pregnant, it was Naomi's, aw, oh, that's so sad. Naomi. <laughs> <laughs> all right y'all so i came back to naomi and yeah she's like super sad right now fail to conceive sometimes it can be harder to expand a family than hope for i'm just like i'm i'm so sad for our girl nay like after she's been wanting this baby for so long she literally has to hear this news she can't even like she's gonna be at high risk like i think that the other message was saying that which, which wasn't like terrible. It was saying that there's nothing to indicate that the fertility is anything but average, but it's not really bad news, but it's not like super good news, but also like she's at high risk to encounter issues. So that's just, yeah, that's sad to hear about. I oh, want to cry for girl Naomi. Pregnancy, reproductive health, Naomi's fertility status. Um, oh, check fertility level. Oh, she's over here crying. Oh. Oh, she's like heartbroken, but she's also confident, which is so confusing. She's had a mix of emotions right now, y'all. She's had a mix of emotions, okay? Let my girl be. Naomi's risk of pregnancy per woohoo is estimated at 30%. Nay, oh my God. Gosh, nay. Look at her. She's like not trying to think about it. Her whole, her movements are gone, bro. She's not trying to think about it. Naomi now knows about her fertility. Knowledge is always good to have. Yeah. Dang, nay. Oh man. Well, I guess we'll come and tell David the sad news. She's she's confident though. She's like, I believe in me. You know, she's she's holding on to that like little bit of hope, like. You know, even though the fertility isn't exactly what I want it to be, it's not zero, you know? Like, I think that's kind of how she's feeling, but yeah, she still, she still has to be sad about it. Like, you know, and, and also to hear that, like, you're at risk when this is like the one thing that she's been wanting for like ever, you know? So what's David's fertility? Can we check his? Alrighty, so um, Naomi came back upstairs. Oh. Uh oh yeah she came back upstairs and they're just over here talking and david's like yeah yeah yeah, we can leave in a minute we can leave in a minute um and then she's just leaving out the door and david's gonna be like okay well thank you um i gotta go uh see what's up with my girlfriend uh naomi's not dancing right now <laughs> she's trying to find light in every situation <laughs> we're actually gonna go back home i'm gonna let them sleep and i just want like david to like just really be there for naomi um through this kind of time because she's literally like going through so many different emotions but in the morning i really want naomi to check her like little tracker thing to see when her most fertile day is um and then we'll probably actually go get the fertility treatment just so it can help like her percentage and like help her like get a baby and everything so we're gonna try that out and cross our fingers that she will be with child but I just feel like so bad for Nay. Like that's really like the worst news to hear, you know? So I'm gonna wait till they wake up in the morning and then we will see when her most fertile day is. And then we'll kind of look on the calendar to see <laughs> when we might potentially be having the baby. I don't know, we're gonna have to see, but yeah, that's just so sad to hear. So uh, I will check with you guys in the morning when they wake up. Oh, David needs to stop with this fit, bro. David, you can have back on the fit. Like you do, you don't have to change, good sir. You really don't have to change. Like you can literally wear that all day. Like, yes, you, I mean, that could be your every day. Just, I mean, um, hello, hello. Oh, sorry, hello. <laughs> hello he's not hungry but naomi is hungry i think that we'll have david make some food for nay so i think that you know what he'll make the little toasty he'll make her a toasty oh, this is a family serving um let's see what could be a good toasty we haven't tried this one apple and camembert let's we'll try that we'll have david make some breakfast for naomi just to show that he cares you know he's there for her why they keep putting plates here and then i'll have him go to the bathroom while we're waiting for it david just needs to move into this place because he can't even get in there i literally clicked for him to go in the bathroom and now he, since he it. Oh, oh, David, 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 go to the fire. This is why David, this is why David can't cook. This is why David, do not wash your hands. Go to the fire. 
You're gonna burn Beyonce's <laughs> How is he just so calm about this fire? Oh my gosh, David, are you serious? Wait, is he afraid of fire? Because that might be why he's not afraid of fire, okay? I'm about to say, if he's afraid of fire, then he's gonna be starting fires all over the place. You know what? Just help her clean the kitchen, like, and then we're gonna cook something that does not require you to do anything that heats up with fire, nothing with electronics. Uh, let's see, what can we make that he doesn't have to do anything? Just make a fruit salad. Make a dinner for two. God. And Naomi slept through that. <laughs> We slept through that. We attacked that fire quick. Why is he making it downstairs? This man is getting on my nerves. Where is he going? David, where are you going? Where are we going? Huh? Why are you way over here? <laughs> you know what? You you can stay out there and you can freeze. I just wanted David to do something nice for Naomi, okay? I just wanted him to do something nice. I am just I just teleported this man back. She just eating cake. She was like, oh, David, where? Oh, I'm just eating some cake. He's like, man. <laughs> well, I don't think they should probably talk about the baby thing anymore. I'll just have him just affirm his love with her and just tell her how cute she looked. You know, just, just boost her up some, you know? After hearing such a... Uh, bad news just boost her up some i'm in love i love this son with all of my heart i hope they feel with all of my hearts i hope they feel the same oh hello david hello it's too early in the morning for this <laughs> but yeah he's just gonna like give her a little kiss man i would be in love with this man too if he dressed like that all right and then i have david throw this away i'm gonna have naomi check her fertility on here let's see we're gonna check the tracker so we can see when we're most fertile oh and i totally forgot at the festival of light we had got this oh man oh yeah can we put it oh, let's put it up here That'll be cute. Hey, we'll put it right there. That's cute. All right, so we'll have her check the tracker so we can see when we're most fertile because we'll probably get the uh, fertility treatment and then uh, we'll try it then and see if that will help, you know. <gasps> it's snowing out. Oh my gosh, it's snowing. All right, Nay, what does it say? What does it say? Oh. Okay, here we go. Uh, currently, you're at day eight of the cycle out of 18. <sighs> Next period in 10 days. The most fertile date is coming up. In zero days? The next ovulation day is coming up in two days? Wait, so her most fertile day is tomorrow? I thought it was like next week or something. Wait, bro, but the wedding's like literally like next week sometime. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, wait, are we going to have baby tomorrow? Wait, should they should they try? If it Well, most fertile day, it says zero days. So that could be either today or tomorrow. I'm so curious. So they're going to be like, so do you want to maybe see? <laughs> Even though we know about how the... Fertility rate and everything's gonna be like you maybe want to try and see like it says my most fertile day is literally either today or tomorrow so <laughs> so I maybe will be with a child I don't know if it doesn't happen now then we'll try it later on <laughs> and see what happens should we take the test or should we wait um you know what let's go get the mail oh man we got our bills too oh yeah yeah we need to pay that I think we're oh David has to go to work oh yeah he has to go to work anyway <laughs> So I'll let David go to work and then we'll take a shower and we'll pay the bills. But I'm nervous to do the test, y'all. I'm so nervous to do the test. I kind of want to wait, but also I like really want to know. And if that doesn't work, then maybe we'll get the treatment and then we'll see. Okay, okay. All right, Nay. Let's go downstairs and let's pay the bills and rent. All right, we collected everything from the mailbox and then let's pay our bills and rent. Wait, y'all. Does she look any different? Does she look any different? She's smiling. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Okay. I'm so sorry to end on a cliffhanger, but <laughs> that's going to be the end of the episode. <laughs> I'm literally so sorry. But this episode, I, I'm so nervous. I don't even want to know. I want to wait till next episode to find out if Nay is with child. And if so, this is going to be literally so insane. But yeah, like I literally like planned out all of Naomi's like story and nowhere near episode 10 or so 
Did I think she's gonna have the baby? So I don't know, but we're gonna have to find out next episode. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We're gonna have to wait till next episode to find out if she's with child because I do not want to take the pregnancy test yet. I'm so freaking nervous. Nay, what are we doing? What are we doing? Oh my gosh. I, this episode's been so crazy, but. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the series so far. <laughs> Naomi has literally been so sad about the fertility, finding out that, you know, her her rate is really low. But since we checked that it said zero days, I mean, today's her most fertile. Like she could be with Tara, but we will find out next episode if she is. So definitely make sure to subscribe down below for the next episode and also more episodes from this series following along with Naomi and David. And also don't forget to hit the like and comment down below as well to let me know of any other suggestions, feedback, and also let me know your favorite part of the episode in the comments below as well. But we're gonna end this here. I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Stay beautiful and handsome as you already been before and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Oh my gosh, is she pregnant? Please let her be pregnant.